Peace and Love, and the concept came about just thinking about what to do for our next album and seeing what was happening in the world around us at the time of making the album. And so we began to gather all the music we could that dealt with peace and love. It just came to me, said, you know, it'd be a good idea, and uh, it's a topic that was uh, prevalent, you know, throughout society because it's such a perfect time to be talking about peace and love. And we tried to capitalize off of things that were important to us growing up in the 70s, and uh, it seemed like a lot of those same topics and conversations were still in play today. So it was the, the right thing to do for the times. Well, the album Peace and Love came about because of all the stuff that's going on in the country, and uh, you know, during, during the election in particular, and um, well, you know, the shootings and everything. So we thought we needed to get uh, the message out. It's, you know, the whole thing kind of touches on that time about America, and about some of the things that were happening then, they're still happening now. Laughing on the bus, playing games with faces. She said the man in the gabardine suit was a spy. Oh, and I said, be careful, his bow tie is real. Uh, what we're doing with, uh, with the tunes, with our tunes from the 60s and 70s, is nothing different than what uh, jazz musicians did in the 30s, 40s, and 50s with uh, uh, standards uh, from the Great American Songbook. So all that stuff interested me, and I began taking uh, these rock tunes, Led Zeppelin, Iron Butterfly, uh, Aerosmith, the music that really moved me as a teenager and began to work on them exactly how somebody would take a jazz standard back in the day or something from a Broadway show. You know, I don't want to write things just to have something be hip or cool. I'm trying to find that thread that kind of rings with me. So many times I'm working on something and it's, you know, I have to recognize that it, it just doesn't need this thing that I'm trying to force in there. It needs the air, you know? So. Uh, I've equated this before to the thing about sculptors saying that they see they see what it is they're going for, it's just they're removing the clay. They already see what they're going for. for me when I mentioned to the band to bring in Joel Fromm. Uh, he's an amazing saxophone player. I had done a few gigs with him just around Philly when he came into town and we did a workshop at the University of the Arts. And he's just a deep musician. So Joel agreed to play on our CD and he just, what he brought to the table was um, uh, not short of amazing. Joel's the kind of guy who's very unpretentious. He's gonna come in look at what you're doing and just go, oh, I can add this, 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 and this. And that's exactly what he did. With TJP performing our, our rock tunes, our tunes, you know, classic rock tunes from the 60s and 70s, seems to strike uh, uh, more of a chord with, uh, with our audiences. So when we get out there and play Inagata de Vida or play Walk This Way and to see the people's faces when we begin playing these songs, it's really cool because our job is to move people. But when I play this music, I really get something out of it, you know, and I really get something from the audience that, that really uh, kind of turns me on. Peace and Love, the new album from TJP. Classic rock in a jazz format, available in all the usual places.
Bonne enfleur, nanapi, 